with the emergency services, showing you what it's really like on the front line, saving lives. This ambulance is on standby 24-7 to respond to whatever emergency call comes in. Today, I'm going along for the ride and you're coming with me. We have no idea what the call-outs will be, so we're going to be filming from all angles. I've got Christian here with his camera. Hi, Christian and I'm here with my selfie cam. And we've got cameras in all corners of the ambulance so we can get closer to the action. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van and technician Heather Hammond. So we're going to a 77-year-old female who has got chest pain and yeah. breathing problems. The biggest concern we have is whether she's having a heart attack and that will be need to be dealt with straight away. Just minutes after getting the call, we arrive at the patient's house. Jan is concerned about Frankie's chest pain, so this is the first thing she checks. Just take some steady <laughs> breaths for me. So this pain in your chest, can you describe it for me? It's like a heavy weight. A heavy weight. Have you ever had any heart attacks in the past? No. no. Your chest sounds are quite quiet at the minute, so I'm going to give you a nebulizer. So our patient has got a nebulizer on. That nebulizer gives special medication to open up her airways to enable her breathing to be a bit better and also for the oxygen in her blood to improve. While Frankie is breathing through the nebulizer, Jan does a heart trace to check her pulse for any abnormal heart rhythms. Right, so at the minute, mm -hmm. blood pressure is very high. We need to make sure it's not your heart. This says at the moment there's nothing obvious going on, but we need to do special blood tests that rule out your heart. So I think hospital. OK. After six minutes on the nebulizer, Frank is feeling much better. But we're worried about her heart, we're worried about her breathing. So it's really important we get her to hospital and she can have some further investigation. Frankie was kept in overnight before being discharged the next day. She's now back at home feeling much better and her heart is doing okay. If you or your gran ever have a medical emergency, there are hundreds of crews like this ready to help.